Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video this is kind of a what we get up to when we get back from spreading slurry. So kind of back at it now which is great. It's long overdue. So just after having the tea and yeah we have a couple of jobs to get done this evening. So it's about half seven. It is actually still a bit of sunlight. Well not really a lot of daylight but you can still see some of the daylight there. You really notice the stretch in the evenings. So currently Father Phil is loading up a silage trailer there for our customers. We're selling our pit silage because we have we have heaps of it over so we're selling it while there's a demand for it and there is plenty of demand for silage at the minute. So, so it's us grand. So I'm going to put down the camera and time lapse and watch him fill in that. And I'm going to get the plow on the 6290 as tomorrow we're going spreading slurry on our own land to relieve a farmer of pressure there going draw with lorries to us to spread on our own ground and we're going to start ploughing after it. We're up there today and it actually surprisingly is quite dry. So we're going to plough it as we put it out. That's how it should be done but yeah surprisingly quite dry. So I put the camera on time lapse and I get swapped the 6290 for the 3075. Put the 3075 back on the day feeder and then the 6290 can be free then for going ploughing. That's the plan. It's all go day and night. Doesn't stop. So, Father Phil's loading away there. I just have the plow in. So, I thought I had all the points to change. I thought we finished up with a well war set of points, but the only point that needs is this one. That one is war, but she has an edge this side, so she's turned that one. The rest then are fine. So that must have been the only one or one of the last ones is put on now. Yes, the boards are rusted. We finished up where we ploughed back in the maze ground, as you can see the maze stock. And we done the centre of the field and we left the headlands. We thought we'd get sowed and then plough the headlands so that didn't happen. And it was left of course in the field. I'll just double check the other side that the points are all right. But um, yeah, grease down when we bring it over. So what I do now, I want to load up the front weights. One headlight not working. Check that out, but we'll load up with the front weights now. Just leaves us a little bit easier off. That's 10 45 kilo weights. So there's now 450 kilos of weight on the front. That'll help give us more traction on our front heels, keep the front end on the ground, and just give us more traction when it comes to plowing tomorrow. So, yeah. It's a lot of weight for the area that's in it. So, just flip the plow, and yeah, other skimmers. Or all our points have points so it's only one point to change father phil has just filled the trailer so just bring that over to the workshop change one point grease her up grease the tractor and she's ready to rock and roll so the other job we have to do before we go over to the workshop just to finish up for this evening is we're just about out of our calf ration, ration that we're mixing so we're going to mix that before we Go in for the night, so it's not too bad. So it's not. I was expecting all points to be changed. Turns out it's just one point, and it's not even to change it. It's just to turn it, and she needs a bit of grease as the depth wheel on the back isn't falling. So get out away for the man to get out the yard, and um, we're gonna ready to make some meal. Good to get some plowing done tomorrow. Should should drove it. That seemed fine, so I'm hoping he gets on. Bro, Eric will be ploughing. He's off for his Easter break, so he's going to plough, or maybe Lee, I'm not sure which of them. One or the other will be up ploughing, anyways. Back in here. Anyways, yeah. It'll be good to get a bit done now. Bloody brilliant. So, diet feeder emptied out. 
So there was a bit of stuff in it, about 100 kilos, so I just had to make sure it was empty. So the harder fill is just loading up the telly here. So this is our calf mineral that's going in. And fake base. So we're mixing it in ton batches till we get it how we want it to be. So the stuff that we mixed the last day, which is here, too much straw on it and not enough molasses. So it is blended and rationed. We have a man blending blending the ration for us doing up how it should be. But he says might have to fine-tune it just to get it. Nutritionally, it's a hundred percent, but it's just a fine-tune it to maybe more molasses, maybe less straw. So we're not putting in any straw and we're going with more molasses to see can we get it to bind and just mix better because all it did was turn into lumps and that stuff. So. And off that picture for later and just get it loaded. Huh? Dust them. Okay. Can we get it loaded up? It looks like flour, but it's li limestone flour. Limestone flour, so it's 38% calcium. So it's part of our region for the balanced mix. So it's mixing there now, it's 985 in it. So Father Phil's just mixing the molasses with hot water to stretch it to try and get more coverage on the meal. So let's leave that there. And um, I thought he'd have left it off till we were putting it in because all that smoke is that limestone flour leaving the diet feeder. But anyways, we get him lifted up into it and uh, get the molasses in. And now, that has it mixed. And as you can tell by my hands, I put in the molasses and now everything is sticky. But anyways. Yeah, but that's it. So we threw in the, what was left there just to add that bit of molasses. That's why there's that bit of straw on it. But you can definitely see the molasses in it this time. You know by how it's even stacking, you know, it's it's not sticky so to say, but you know what's in it. So we'll see how the calves do on this. As I was saying, this is formulated, so this is to make sure the calves get what they need, but it's also to make use of, now we need to get another trailer out of barley back, but to make use of our barley beans and oats. So we're nice. working out at a third of our own barley, oats and beans, and two thirds uh, flake maize, soya, soya bean, uh, limestone flour, minerals. It's all minerals after that. And, and, and that, molasses. It's, it's, and the molasses. So that's how it's working out. It's working out 270 a ton, and that's based on the value in the barley at the current market value of barley, which is, isn't great, but um, that's what it's working out at. So it's considerably cheaper than buying it by the bag or, or buying it in bulk, buying a, a ration. Um, well, we'll have our own stuff. We can, we can save another bit on that. Um, if we buy the ingredients bulk, so the soya bean and the flake maize bulk into the bin, <laughs> For mixing as we need it then and mix four ton instead of a ton at a time it's just to try and get it right <coughs> well, we want to get it fresh yeah it, well, it, was, it was to get it right to make sure because if we'd mixed four ton the first time it would have would was like what it was too much straw not enough molasses this time looks right. better but we'll have to see what the calves think of it but um so yeah hopefully the next time we'll get some stuff into the bin and that could reduce the cost by another 10 20 euro a ton which yeah, it's all I help at the end of the day. But um, yeah, so that's what it is. That's what it looks like. So now it's just see what the calves think of it tomorrow. So yeah, one last job, bring over the plow, change the point and service it. And then it's ready for the morning because we'll be leaving bright and early. I want to have it ready for Lee or bro, whichever one of them is going to come up after us and start plowing. So yeah, fill it with diesel and bring it over. And yeah, okay, right. We get her serviced up. Now, it's time to go change the point. So you can see, she's just wore flush with the shear. So, <clears throat> every, ah, look, anyone who doesn't know a plow path, you have your point, your shin, your board, 
landslide and shin it's that piece there so she's actually drew a set of shins so i might try and get that done before the next bit of plowing but i'll turn this point and other than that all the points are good on her the go landslides are getting a little bit shook mike in her but how them but we'll turn this anyways so all i have to be careful of is just to dig around the edge of that so i can get it on it and turn it so the point saves the shear the shear saves the landslide or the <coughs> board the shin saves the board and the landslide saves saves the leg and that is basically all the bits of a plow so anyways we get this changed we get the grease gun we get all our points greased up and we'll grease the front king pins and that on the tractor and the lift arms and then she's ready to rock and roll for tomorrow And that's her done and that's the difference between a war end and a new end see ya. you can see the difference and pff, depending on ground you'll wear them off in 50 70 acres something like that you'll have to turn the points so generally a set of points does the season uh, we changed them last changed them last year anyways but um yeah that's the plow serviced greased all done tractor oiled sir well not service but oiled fueled greased all that ready to go and early start tomorrow um be in the field for half six lorries are coming at seven so we need to make sure with the pipe down we're ready to rock and roll and then the plow can come on then basically as soon as we get the first run done the plow can be up so whether it's Lee or Bro comes up to do it, I don't know. Um, Lee's still working on the 6480 in there, so he might stay to get that done and Bro might come up. Or Lee might want to get a run on the plough. I don't think he's ploughed before. She does need to brighten and it'll take most of that field to brighten it. It is a sandier, stonier field, so it might take as long to brighten. But it's still going to take a bit of brightening. That's the, the only thing that's annoying me, I just, we thought we were going to get going again. I never got back out with a bit of burnt oil to keep the, the rust off the boards, but... Ah, look, happens nearly every year, and uh, you guaranteed I go and I'd oil it, and then you'd have to do a bit of plowing, and then you wouldn't get time to get oiled then after that. But look, ready to rock and roll. This job tomorrow now should save us putting out 0730 on the beans, so it should work out pretty well for us and get someone out of bother. So that's in the current weather conditions, that's mostly what's going on. But saying that now. A bit of a change in the air today. It was a pretty decent bit of a day. You can see the concrete is dry. It's not too often we see the concrete dry. So maybe there's a change coming. But the ground's good to plough. So we're going to get this out and get it ploughed in. And then maybe if it get another two or three dry days, we get in and get the beans sown. So yeah, it's the first bit of real field work, real bit of till, real bit of something other than slurry to go on. But fingers crossed. Everyone goes fine tomorrow. Babies. That is what we do on the day after slurry. Spend all day at slurry. And when you get back, I always quit around dark because we don't like moving the pipes or doing anything with pipes in the dark because that's usually when things go wrong when you start moving pipes in the dark. So we'll come back and we get caught up on another few jobs and get ready for the next day's work. So yeah, we like to call it the night shift. So anyways, I think it's about 10 o'clock. Maybe a bit after it. 20 past 10, so it's not too bad. It's early enough. So we sit down, we'll watch a movie, watch, well, watch a movie, watch a program, and then go to bed and do it all again tomorrow. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little snippet of what goes on in the evenings after we do the main job, main day's work. So, we knock off a few lights. Tractor's back together too, so hopefully, hopefully, Sunday we might have the 64 he back out or the 1200 running one or the other. But, anyways, I'm going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Fingers crossed tomorrow goes good. And is anyone else getting out or thinking of getting out to do a bit of plowing or that? We are. So, hope it goes all right. Anyways, that is it for me. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Good luck.